Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up inventory tags using RuneLite. And what I mean by inventory tags is that you can color code your items in your inventory to be a certain set of colors. It'll be an outline on the item. So you can make your uh, range gear have a green outline and your mage gear have a blue outline and your melee gear have a red outline. And I use those colors because red is known to be melee, green is known to be range, and blue is known to be uh, mage in this game. So uh, you can do those as well as uh, miscellaneous colors for your potions and other items in your inventory. And it's really, really useful when you're doing bossing or slayer that requires more than one outfit setup. Uh, so if you're doing a quick gear setup at Zora, but you miss a gear uh, switch, see here how I, I do all melee, but I forgot to put on my archer's ring for range, as well as my vacation boots for range. And it's very, very easy to notice uh, the color difference without having to actually pay attention to uh, the gear setup. Uh, so if when you're doing Zora and you need to really, really focus on the Zora boss or Ulm and not really worry about the inventory, you can just kind of go by color. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Anyways, open up RuneLite and then go to this wrench in the top right, the configuration wrench and click that to open it. And then in the search bar, type in inventory tags. Uh, you can see mine's turned off. Go ahead and flip the switch, turn it on. And if you click the cog, uh, it's gonna go into the edit feature options. Here you can actually change colors. It's already defaulted to that red, uh, green, blue, I've told you about as well as some other colors. You can change those. You don't need to use these colors if you want, just double click and you're gonna get that uh, change color up here, so. Um, but I'm going to show you how to set this up now. So what you want to do is go over to your inventory, right click inventory, make sure that the switch is turned on, and then right click inventory, and then configure inventory tags. If it's not turned on and you right click inventory, that option's not there. So I'm going to go ahead and right click configure tags. Now the feature's on, right click your items, and uh, make them the color you want. So these are range gear, so I'm going to make them green. Make all my range gear green. I'll make all my mage gear blue. And I'll do the same thing for my melee gear. Make it red. Stay consistent with the coloring uh, of this game. And then you can change your potions to other colors. And again, like watch, watch I'm gonna do a quick switch from mage, or sorry, from range to melee. And it's, if I miss one, maybe I'll double click on accident. Uh, pretty easy to see that I, this should not be red, it should be green. So I know I missed one, right? Um, and then you can do the same for potions. So I'm going to do uh, my potions. Maybe I want this color. I don't, I don't know too much about the potion color scheme of the game, but uh, I'll show you. Um, kind of wish it wasn't this way, but eh, it's also interesting. Let's say I make the range pot four. This is a range pot four, and this is a range pot three, two different colors. Uh, you can see all your four pots and three pots so you don't over sip or under sip so you keep everything clean in the inventory. It's actually really not that important but if I sip this range pot four to make it a range pot three it will change colors to the cyan that I have for range pot three. Um, but go ahead and, and have fun with it. If you want to share your colors feel free to do that in the uh, comments below uh, but this is kind of how I set it up. It's really really useful again when you're learning new bosses that require uh, switches. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I plan to make more RuneLite videos like this one in the future. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.